So my desire is to gather capital so that we can get the manufacturing set up so we can demonstrate complete geodesic dome houses manufactured out of recycled plastic with the composting sanitation system taking care of all of the toilet and all of the organics in the household along with the rainwater and the gray water treatment and recycling system. One complete package as a house just like you'd buy a car. I came to Costa Rica in 1980. I was um, about 26, 27. I was here for about two weeks and I fell in love with your country right then. I had a little Honda Civic and traveled on you know, dirt roads and it was all, all dirt. Tamarindo was one hotel, 20 rooms, Hotel de Rio. But I fell in love with the country then. But I had to go back to the Estados Unidos and get my education in life. Living in Colorado for a while and then uh, I had a sister and brother-in-law that sent me a one-way ticket to Alaska and I went to Alaska in 1982. But my education in uh, composting toilets uh, gave me a job with the National Guard inventing my own composting toilet system which I then spent 13 years in Alaska putting my composting toilet system in over 50 of the National Guard armories in the remote villages. So it's quite an education with that. I got a patent on the composting toilet and I got into gray water at that time. But Alaska, with things changing and the world going on, I returned to Minnesota in 1995 and I tried to bring my technologies then into the country, but they were more interested in septics. And so I went into inventing an alternative to septics and I came up with what's called a recycling system or the gray water system. So I invented that and I got two more patents on that. But I tried working in the United States and the United States like septics and sewers and they don't like alternatives and so in 2016 I headed to Costa Rica because I knew from my previous visits before that this is a country that didn't have a military and had the environmental ideas that I shared. The First thing and the most difficult thing for a gringo or a person to do is to understand the tranquility of Costa Rica. And I did have the opportunity of living in Mexico City for two years and so the Mexican culture is much different than the Costa Rican culture. So it was very important for me to be, have the experience of Mexico. I cannot say enough about the friendliness of the Costa Rican people. I could go on and on and on, but that's kind of a normal, known thing. My goal is to bring my knowledge and my uh, experiences to Costa Rica. The information I have, I think, can not only help Costa Ricans, it can help the world. 96% of the sewage in all of Latin America ends up in the river, okay? So you have a couple of sewage treatment plants, but not much. The Chinese are trying to sell you sewage treatment plants and they're charging you 13% interest, okay? Sewage treatment plants consume a lot of water and they don't take care of the problem and they pollute the rivers, okay? So it's technology that needs to be changed here. I believe Costa Rica, especially because of the topography, it's impossible to do a pipe system in this country to begin with, okay? And so decentralization has a much better chance and as an opportunity. Worldwide, people are dying and it's because of cholera. So the baño or the toilet that I worked on composting thing, everybody should have this composting thing. And so the capitalistic assumption based upon the desecration of the earth, okay, of all of these resources and with no recycling comprehension when we all started this, it's time that we did this. But I think in my life I've been fortunate to be able to work with the toilet and the water system to be able to complete the design. So I believe now that we, Buckminster Fuller, with his philosophy, which inspired me to stumble around in this lifetime, luckily to be able to find the parts and pieces to be able to put it together. So I just feel fortunate to be able to have been inspired by this gentleman to have taken part of my life to find some answers to it. I think we've got an answer of a complete house anywhere in the world that can help low-cost housing, water, and sanitation for people who need it.